Still sleeping. All he's been doing. Lots and lots of sleep. Turbo, you want to swing? Come on. No. What's up? Come on. There we go. You can do it. All the way up. All the way up. You can do it. Nice big stretches. There we go. My baby Turbo is doing a good boy. Oh boy, Turbo. There he is. That's a good boy. Hey, what's up, gardening friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Wanted to give a little disclaimer before the video starts. This video is very weird. Nothing's happening in the video. It's going to be a whole lot of walking and talking, sitting and talking. There's been some stuff going on. So had a death with one of the pets, probably my older cat, and it just, and it takes me a while to get to the point. I thought I should jump in. Before the video starts, put this little clip in here, the disclaimer. It's a weird one. It's a weird video. May not be everybody's cup of tea, which I completely understand. You don't feel like watching a video. Somebody's talking about a pet that's passed away. Completely understand and see you in the next one. There were other things I had planned and was hoping to get done this week, but just none of that worked out. I'll just hop into what I had filmed and we can pick up next week with other things. Plankin, you're really getting in there. That's the most I've seen you eat in a while couple weeks her appetite goes in and out there's been uh, a lot going on <laughs> it was how i started the last video because there was a lot going on with the furniture and the remodeling if you watched the last video you saw the kitchen was just overflowing with things from the rest of the house and it still has some because there's still other rooms being worked on working on worked on this remember this that's up against the wall and get a better look at it. That's not really the topic of today's video. Let's go outside. I have to be quiet. I don't want to be quiet. So better to go outside. That's better. I still feel the need to be quiet. I guess it's because the pool doesn't have water in it. Yes, that's still going on. There's nothing happening this week. Again, it's not ideal. I know people come here to watch stuff get done, but there have been people out here all week. And this video needs to come out in the next 24 hours. Some point need to get it edited. And I haven't had a lot of sleep. I don't know. I don't want to talk about this. I was just sitting here trying to think, was it last week's video? Just, or the week, not the week, the video prior to this one that I did the garden tour. And then I remember, no, the last video was me talking about what's going on in the pool and just showing off a few new house plants. That was only a few days ago. Feels like it's been a month. ABB, yeah. Wow, time is... I don't know if that means it's flying or just really going slow. Between the house and the pool... And uh, something that's been going on with one of the pets. Things have been busy. Very, very busy. And I had to go to the emergency dentist the other day. Cause my wisdom tooth was just like punching me. Holy crap, it hurt. They gave me some amoxicillin and Motrin and set me up for an extraction with an oral surgeon. But within 48 hours, it feels like 80% better. So I'm not just going to go needlessly have a tooth pulled. I'm going to give it some time and consult with a different dentist because the tooth they want pulled isn't the tooth that hurts. Because of that, I am also limiting my physical activity. Because you know, when you get your heart rate up, when you have a toothache, it like starts throbbing and pulsing. Just trying to chill as much as I've been able to with like rearranging the house every single day to move furniture around and everything. Wisdom tooth right around here, pushing on this tooth, but it's one further away that hurts it was just like if you ever had braces that feeling when your teeth get pulled that's what it feels like i've had abscesses and needed root canals before it doesn't really feel like that so i'm not all that concerned but i do know I need to chill don't want to aggravate things and uh sometimes your body tells you when it's time to chill maybe i just need to tone things down a little bit i know it doesn't seem like a lot's been going on because a lot hasn't been going on in the channel but a lot's been going on in all the other areas of my life. Like the channel to be a happy place with happy things going on, lots of positive vibes. I don't like to really rant unless it's a joke, you know, if it's in jest, that's okay. But I like to keep serious stuff out of here because everyday life for all of us is just full of things that we could use a mini escape from. That's one of the reasons people watch sports and television shows, YouTube, TikToks. It's just for a little mini escapes or inspirations or comforts of some sort keep the mind busy perhaps lots of different reasons for me i view this channel as a place where things are supposed to be upbeat and happy so i don't want to dwell on bad negative things these aren't bad negative things by the way home renovation exciting loving the process the pool thing no big deal don't really care it's needed this upkeep done for a while, so I'm glad that it's finally happening. Been meeting some really cool people along the way, like the guy who's rebuilding the inside of these light fixtures. He is a superintendent for uh, words that I don't even know what they mean, but uh, companies that travel the 
country and the world and like special types of coatings and paintings and he has all kinds of fun stories from like being inside the dolphin stadium and working on their jumbotrons and things like that and then the liquidator person getting the uh, used furniture from lots of stories from this guy you know it's all kinds of artists there's an artist that's renting out a space near him that i didn't get to meet but the contractor who's doing the house he's also an artist got to hang out with him and do a lunch and this is the guy who does the busts and sculptures in st louis down by like bush stadium he like just had lunch with the pope last week and did a bust of the pope and bought some dining room furniture that has some interesting history to it from the 60s with who owned it so it's been a neat process like the way things align and the experiences that you get to have. So that's what I'm saying. Like, none of those things are bad things. However, last night, one of my cats, not Pumpkin, Charlie, the older cat, he had to be put down. Older cat Charlie, y'all have seen him before. He hasn't been doing well for the last several weeks. He's been basically on 24-hour care. And, uh, Oh, that's great timing. Machinery's here. Well, there's no stopping now. Gotta finish up with what I was saying. He's needed 24-hour care. The, he's been going to a senior specialist vet who's giving him potassium drips. He gets hydrated with an IV bag twice a day. He has thyroid medication. His diabetes needs to be managed. There's something neurological going on with him where there'd be days where his legs just wouldn't work, but then the next day they would. And uh, I've had a lot of elderly pets before, and uh, you can just tell when it's, they're ready to go. And uh, you would have thought, with everything that's been going on with him, that he would have been ready to go a long time ago. But his eyes have been bright and happy. Like, he just wanted to be held all hours of the day. So there's just been somebody with him 24 hours a day for the last few weeks. It's been a lot of work. Yesterday, he just wouldn't eat. And he's had days like that before. But there was just something different. Like, you could see in his eyes... There wasn't a lot back there. He had an IV of nutritional supplements, even though he wasn't eating, could keep him comfortable, and he had lots of medications to keep him comfortable as well. Around 10 o'clock last night, while he was being held, he had a seizure, a very short seizure, but that was one of those things where it happens, you go, okay, nope, not letting you suffer, and took him immediately to an emergency vet and had him put down. Do you see that? That's special. Very special. I never see goldfinches out here. This is maybe the third time this year. And like the fifth or sixth time ever. Just hanging out in there, playing inside the gingers. That's pretty neat. Nice timing. Very nice timing. I know, that was a deviation. So that's the other thing that's been going on. More relieved than sad. That you, with a lot of pets, the entire process you go through when they're a senior is very draining and uh, you uh, have to question yourself constantly about whether or not it's time when it's a slow process, right? I have had plenty of other situations where something very dramatic and drastic has happened and there's no question. You just know, hey, this needs to be done. But with him and my last dog, Tucker, y'all may remember him, and my childhood dog, Rusty, who y'all never saw, it was a very slow progression. And uh, when that happens, you have so many good days, you have so many bad days, and the bad days start to outweigh, uh, or outnumber, I should say, the good days. And it's just, it's that whole roller coaster, and then the constant care that goes on top of it, it takes a toll. So uh, there's some relief. I know that sounds horrible to say, but uh, just being completely honest here, most people know what I'm talking about. I'm glad that it's over for him, and I'm glad that the constant worrying and cleaning up after him and the constant medications, like, it's just nice to know that that's done and over. The band-aid's been ripped off and don't have to worry about him suffering anymore or question whether or not he's suffering anymore. As far as the other pets are concerned, Turbo's the only one who's acting kind of sad. Turbo loves his kitties. I don't know if y'all remember that kitten that showed up here last year. He loved that kitten. He would pick it up by its little, the nape of its neck and take it away from me. If I was holding the kitten, it would start to meow. He'd come over and be like, nope, that's mine. And he'd take it away and go lay, <laughs> lay down with it and give it baths and everything. He loved that kitten. And uh, he and Charlie, I don't know if they were tight, but they spent a lot of time with each other. They slept right next to each other every day. So it, it, Turbo's just one of those dogs who is pretty in tune with emotion. So, you know, they match our energy. So he's kind of mopey. Pumpkin seems completely indifferent because, you know, cats are buttheads. So that's not shocking at all. The parrot, obviously, he doesn't care either. 
Toby's pretty aloof and indifferent. So really, it's just Turbo. Pumpkin, you know, with cats, they they have that carnivore predator thing with them. And uh, they have a big age difference, too. So they were close. Like, Pumpkin would, every single morning, chase him down and um, lick his face. It was so cute. And the entire time, Charlie would look so upset about it. But he would put his head down and let Pumpkin just go to town licking his face and they would kind of run around and play not as much the last few years because he was getting older but uh once he started feeling sick pumpkin did that thing that predators tend to do and they say yeah stay away from me you don't look right you're gonna attract trouble but she has still been wandering the house occasionally and meowing kind of like hey where's my bud so uh, you know there's probably some mourning going on with her but yeah that's what's been going on I don't like to talk about it, but people ask occasionally. Several times a month, people ask for pet updates, and I remind you I have to go around and make sure to show the pets at the beginning of videos, which I appreciate those reminders. And there'll be people asking, well, where's Charlie? Or where's the old cat? Unfortunately, one of the parts of doing YouTube and having pets is having to talk about when the inevitable happens and part of life happens, and you have to share it with everybody. And not to be a drag or a bummer, I'm sorry, that's not the point here. Just want to make sure that everybody knows what's going on and it does minimize people asking me in the future of hey where's charlie that's the hardest part when tucker died one of the things that was really difficult was the people asking for months i mean heck, it's only even been a few months since i've had somebody ask me well where's tucker like, well tucker died in 2020 it doesn't really bother me now but when you're only a few months out so that was late 2020 early 2021 it was, you know, like getting salt in the wound, having to reply to those comments and say what happened. That's why he had a dedicated video. And that's why Charlie's getting sort of a dedicated video. I'm just going to sit back and talk about it because I don't have anywhere near as much video of Charlie as I did of Tucker. Because he's the old cat. The last few years, he's just been hanging out, sleeping. He wasn't around out here while I was doing yard work. So it's just not the same. But he was a beautiful cat. Showed up in 2007 put signs up checked for a microchip nobody wanted him and uh, have never felt right about leaving a cat outside that's something people have lots of different opinions on because of the bird situation and the fact that cats tend to have double the life expectancy indoors i prefer to keep them indoors for conservation reasons and uh, for the betterment of the animal but I understand there are circumstances, farms and things like that, where they have a purpose and all that. I'm not here to debate any of that. It's explaining why I did not want him outside. There are a lot of predators around here and lots of busy streets around here. I'm not out in the country. There are lots and lots of roads. I don't think he would have made it that long. So here we are, what, 16 years later? He was probably between 18 and 20 years old, maybe. Ended up getting to have a lot of time with him. He was a cool cat. He never fussed about anything. He wasn't one that startled easily. If I had friends over with dogs, he was like, hey, cool dog. Like, he didn't care. My sisters could bring their cats over, and he was just like, oh, look, another cat. Like, he wasn't buddy-buddy with them, but it, just, it wasn't like Pumpkin, where everything that changes pisses her off. Which is how a lot of cats are. Can't really fault them for that. They're creatures of habit. They are animals that like to know their environment, right? But he was just kind of aloof, didn't care. I'd even, he used to come outside with me sometimes while I do yard work because he wouldn't run away. He'd just kind of hang out with me. I had to keep my eyes on him. But he could usually come out for like 10, 15 minutes at a time, get some fresh air, and I'd say, okay, time to go inside. You just go back inside. That was pretty cool. Never had a cat like that before. It's just weird. You know that feeling? Everybody's mourned in some way. The day of and the day after, everything just feels off. I'm not that sad. I'm happy that this is done and over. I'm happy for the cat that he's not suffering anymore. Everything just feels off. I keep fidgeting around like, oh, well, I could do this in the video or I could do that, like various activities, but it just doesn't feel right. It feels icky to me to blend things together. I don't, I don't know. Just don't feel right about it. I don't like for things to be forced over here either. I avoid scripting. I'll outline, but I like for things to be natural and have a natural flow to them. It would be kind of a weird vibe to have a video where the title could be something along the lines of repotting plants and talking about my dead cat. Nah, those things don't go together at all. Just leave it be. Oh cool, that's covered in mealybugs. 
can spray that later. Yeah, mealybugs are bad. It's the worst I've ever seen them. Don't know what happened. Didn't do anything differently this year than last year, except was more on top of spraying with the neems and everything. Ah, it just happens that way. I don't want to talk about anything that's going to have like a drastic impact, but I keep telling myself if it has mealybugs, I'm not taking it inside this year. I don't think that that's the appropriate way to handle things, but you know, my headspace right now, not the best for making harsh drastic decisions. So just hold off on those kinds of statements for another probably three weeks. Or however long I have until it's time to move the plants inside. I don't think y'all be able to hear it, but I hear a woodpecker. It's up there somewhere, but I don't see it. Where are you? Nah, it doesn't matter. There's a little redheaded. I don't actually think it is a redheaded woodpecker. It has a red, uh, not throat, the red, the thing. It has some red feathers on its head, but I don't think it's a red headed woodpecker. It's one of the smaller ones, and it shows up to the bird feeder on the window in my office every now and then. It just kind of like flops backwards when it realizes that that's not a suet feeder and flies away. I thought about putting a suet feeder out here for the woodpecker. I'll probably do that sometime. Which, oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Are you going to stay there for everybody to see you? Can't see the screen. Can you guys see him? That thing. Yeah, see him? There he is. I knew I was hearing a woodpecker. Well, I guess if I'm not gonna be doing anything because it feels weird to combine topics, it doesn't make a lot of sense to just wander around and ramble, but thanks for hanging out. Sorry this video is more of a bummer, but that's just the nature of life. I'm fine. It's a bummer, but these are just things that happen in life. It's part of life. Like I said, I got to spend 16 years with the cat. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that he was a great cat and uh, I'm uh, happy that it wasn't a very sudden unexpected situation. That makes a huge difference with the whole process, you know? Yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope this didn't make anybody sad. Everything's good. Cat had a very long, beautiful life. Always a weird adjustment having that absence from your life. That's enough rambling. I'm going to wrap it up. Whatever he's doing well, having a great day, a great life, and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. Comment down below and say hi. I love talking to everybody. Trying to get this in frame. Giant dog, trying to snuggle. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye. Bye.